Hello everyone. Today demo, I am going to install Ubuntu on the Oracle VirtualBox. In my case, I have Windows 10, which we can consider as my host operating system. And if I would like to install multiple operating system, then I have to install a software called it Hypervisor. And in my case, I am using Oracle VirtualBox. And once Oracle VirtualBox would be installed successfully, it would be allow multiple operating system or VMs. These VMs can called as a guest operating system. And now the question is how we are going to install Ubuntu in this VM. We can install Ubuntu in two different ways. First of all, we can download Ubuntu ISO. And the other way we can download a VDI image. In my case, I am going to use a Ubuntu VDI image. Another question is where we get this VDI image? We can get this VDI image in the portal of OSS boxes. Now, these are the installations required if you want to set up. First of all, in this demo, I am going to install virtual box. And once the virtual box should be installed successfully, I am going to download. Once the virtual box has been installed successfully, I am going to download Ubuntu VDA image. Now the question is, can we use similar approach for the Ubuntu version? The answer is yes, you can use the similar approach. Let's see how we can install a Oracle virtual box. So quickly, Type virtual box download and now you can find this link. Uh, here is the virtual box uh, for Windows operating system. You can pick this option and now you can see the download has been started. Once the down this exe would be downloaded, just follow the instruction and after that it would be installed in your machine in my case is i had already downloaded and installed and uh, in your if your installation has been performed successfully you can see the icon on your desktop like this let's open this now you can see this is how the first landing page and now we are going to download something called a vdi image to download VDI image, again go back to here, type here oasisboxes.org. And then go to VM images. Here you can find out a virtual box image. Choose this option. Under that you can find out a Ubuntu. Let's go to the Ubuntu section. So here is the Ubuntu section. So just choose this option. Choose this download VDA image. And you can find out here set up different option. In my example, I'm going to use Ubuntu uh, 20.10. And let's download this. You can download this by hitting this button. In my case, I had already download. And once you download, this should be looks like this. And for saving some amount of time, I had already extract and once you extract this, you can see this VDA image in this location. So keep this location for your reference. Now go to quickly Oracle virtual box and here you can find out a new option. Choose this new option, give a name. So let's say this is Ubuntu base image and uh, Linux it is already selected so Linux type is Linux and version is Ubuntu 64 bit and then you can the memory I want okay you can go with 1 GB of memory if you want to increase you can increase later also choose this option then go to pick this option you can see this is already there 
and if it is not there so well you can pick from here and then you need to be chooses now you can see that this is already selected and now you hit the button called it create now once you have applied the button create you can go here and set the properties you can go to the setting section now here you can see that it's pointing to the 60 bit operating system uh, so this is the location where exactly your image would be created um, and then go to the system section if you want to increase your base memory you can increase from here for the timing i have one processor if you want to extend you can increase to two display i am not going to change any changes the next changes i want to make here so here i'm going to pick here something called it biz adapter so that the my internet connection could be shared between my host operating system and my guest operating system in this case it is ubuntu and say ok it's uh, look good and you can hit ok and then right click here say start normal start It may take few minutes to configure it depend on your machine configuration once this screen would be available the next step would be we need a password another question is where we get this password so we go back again to the same location and guys if you see this info section you can find out the password username and password so this is the password so let's feed this password and see After a few minutes wait, you can see the screen and then we are going to perform two necessary setting. The first is we just increase the resolution. The second one is resetting the date and time and the location. So go to the setting section. So we have to make a few changes. The first changes is I want to change the uh, display or uh, the resolution. So let's go here. So here is the option display. Let's change this display. And apply the changes. And the next change what I like to add is something called a date and time. So please find the section called a date and time. And here you can find out the time zone. In your case, if the time zone is different, you can choose this option and then the pick proper time zone. Okay, and then you can close this one and this should be ensure the time zone has been updated successfully. And then you can close this console. Now to see the terminal you can come here and then you can go to this uh, come to the type and search type terminal and you can find out the term now you can see the terminal over here and uh, then you can mark this one add to favorites so this is the end of Ubuntu installation. If you guys have any comment, please leave your comment on comment section below. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel.